gloves. All right, so we're gonna be doing uh, emergency braking, but I don't want to call it emergency braking because that gets people freaked out. So we're just gonna practice uh, your braking. Okay. Remember, once you feel, I'm gonna grab it like from I'm on top, but I'm from underneath. Once you feel it grab and you feel the weight transfer to the front, you can squeeze harder and harder and harder and harder. Keep the handlebars straight. If you don't keep them straight, you'll dip over. And it's just like this whole concept. No weight on the foot, a little bit of weight on the foot, it's harder for it to move. All the weight on the foot, it won't move. So all the weight on this foot, it won't move. Okay. If you, if you just slam that brake with no weight on that foot, it's going to just drop. And then I'm pulling in the clutch all the way. Pulling the clutch all the way, front and rear brake slowly. So you can go ahead and go. <sighs> Don't worry about it. When you put me on camera, I get nervous. Yeah, make sure you have your visor down. Don't tell me what to do. I can tell you whatever I want to do. You wish. All right, so let me get to my my phone. Mm-hmm. So, like I, like I showed you, just go all the way around. Mm-hmm. Got your phone? All right. No, yeah, I'm, I'm recording with this. But what I want to show everybody else is the DDFM crew website. And what we're doing is we're doing all, there's all these drills. We're doing the parking lot drills. This is absolutely free to everybody now since we hit 400 patrons. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna be practicing emergency braking, but I'm gonna change that name because I prefer just regular braking, so. Emergency is a little scary. So there's the video of me doing it. But I wanted to, instead of just redo the video, I wanted to show this. You know, don't go too fast, okay. So go about 15 miles per hour. I forgot to tell you that. So 15 miles per hour, just kind of like an easy first gear. Okay. And, and the goal is just to get the progressive front brake. Okay. Okay. And, and rear brake. All right. Progressive front and rear. Okay. Got it. So we have the DDFM crew manual here. And then we're going to be doing turn from a stop over here. So here's turn from a stop. And I show you how to do it. So this is the picture. Kind of what we're doing right here and I tell you how to do it, but we're gonna do that after that. So right now she's practicing this, because honestly she was, sure, one of her concerns was that she doesn't know if she can brake in time, so well, we're practicing that. So start applying that front brake, clutch, pull, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Oh, squeeze. You, put, you put your foot down too soon. Yeah. So uh, next I time. I was trying to engage this one, and woo, felt weird. Yeah, you put your foot down <laughs> before the bike stopped, so it, it kind of yanked your foot out, so. Go ahead, do it again. Okay. Remember to keep that handlebar straight. Straight. We should have put um, a little T-Rex sliders on today. <laughs> well, just keep them straight. <laughs> you don't have to worry about sliders right now. I will, I'm just saying. This is just an easy practice. It is. So that, that speed is all I need right there. But nothing's ever easy with me. All right, so pull in the clutch. Now apply the brakes, squeeze, squeeze harder, 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 harder. You see how at the very end it kind of went down and up? So now when you feel that weight transfer to the front, really squeeze that front brake. Oof, okay. And you'll, and you'll just go like yank, it'll do that. Okay, go ahead and do it again. So we're gonna do this a few times and then we're gonna move on to the turn from a stop um, but this is very important because, I mean, you never know when you're at the stop and you need to know what your brakes can do. Yeah, definitely. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Harder, harder, harder. Now. There you go. That's, that's good. That was like... Dun -dun. Exactly, but it didn't slide from you. It didn't lock up and you fall over. It's because you had enough traction on that front tire. I gotta feel this more. Yeah, you could squeeze that in even harder next time. But wait until that weight transfers. Got it. Do you like the way my muffler sounds? My exhaust sounds? Your exhaust? exhaust. Your exhaust Do you like the on? way my exhaust sounds? Let's edit that other part out. <laughs> I like it. It's throaty. She sounds sexy now. There you go. Now apply. There you go. You see that? You see that? You see that? <laughs> yeah. But we're not here testing to see how far you can go until you fall. We're here right. testing 
how that feels. So now that you know how that feels and what it can do, you can prepare yourself before a car stops in front of you. You can slow down so that you don't have to go super fast and then really grab it and squeeze hard. So that's the whole point of preparing for a stop before you're actually having to stop. So you gotta be vigilant, of course, so and know what's two, coming. Let's, yeah, exactly. Let's do two more just like that, and then we'll move on to this one, and then we'll just practice off camera. Cool beans, cool beans. All right, so she's gonna do this two more times. I want you guys to watch that front suspension. I want you to see how it, you know, the chrome and then the black shroud, it kind of shrinks and then it bounces back up. That's something that you're gonna need to know, and this is something you learn at uh, the MSF BRC1. So nice and easy, you don't have to go so slow, babe. Or so fast. Okay, now squeeze, squeeze. You see how it bounced? Okay. Now, it'll bounce like that every single time, but it all depends on if you have your handlebars straight or to the side. To the side, I'd be eating crap if, like no other. Just, yeah, just like in those live streams where they have it, they try to turn and swerve at the same time and grab the brake, it just dumps. Yeah. So if you have it straight, it will stop. All right, one more time. By looking straight. Look straight is huge. Look straight is huge. Nobody drives their car and stares at their instrument panel. I do. Well, then we need to get you through a driving class. <laughs> I probably wouldn't pass. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And you drive the kids around too, huh? They're used to my driving. They know when they get in the car with mom, put a seatbelt on. Oh, shoot. All right, so nice and easy. We're just practicing the braking, not the speed. So squeeze, squeeze harder, harder. Perfect. Good. Let's move on to this and we'll practice this uh, um, off camera. Yeah, I want to. All right, so let's go over here. Okay, so I want you to put your front tire um, kind of right around the area of this white cone. So like right here, be good. Ooh, a little closer. Yeah. That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> Stay right there. Stay right there. Okay, okay. So put it in neutral so you don't have to hold in the clutch. So from here, you're going to go. And at any point you feel like bringing your feet up, that's perfectly fine. If not, you can still kind of paddle walk it the first few times and try to make this turn. Don't go wide like this, okay? In fact, <clears throat> I want you to make this full turn and go straight and come back in line, okay? So this right here plays into the part of this is a stop sign. There's, there's, this is a T intersection. So, or even a normal tr uh, cross intersection. So there's traffic, there's traffic going both ways. So what we have to do is we have to kind of go, look, look, and make a sharp turn to the right to merge with traffic. And it's the same thing with the left-handed turn. It's very rare you're gonna do that because in America, a lot of them are right-handed turn, so. America. So go ahead and try it. Okay. And if you hit a cone, you hit a cone. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. That's I gotta fine. get the nerves out on that one. Okay. That's, that's why we're practicing. Remember, counterweighting helps a lot. So apply, just applying a little bit of weight to that outside peg, which will be your left foot on this type of turn. Looking where you want to go and then turning the handlebars. Okay. Gotcha. So go ahead and pull up to here and put it in neutral again. All right. So from here, so from here, if you turn the handlebars, it feels like you're gonna want to, you're putting a lot of weight on that right leg to keep it from going. So now, if I just put a little bit of weight, see how it stands upright? I'm barely applying anything. So if you put that same amount, your handlebars are full lock, it's gonna make the turn. So if now, if I straighten the handlebars, go ahead and straighten the handlebars. If I apply that same weight while the handlebars are straightened, you're gonna fall to the left. So it's all that counterbalance. You're dancing with the bike. So counterbalance, okay? So apply the weight, go ahead. So apply that weight. There you go, there you go. Much better this time. I keep putting this foot out. <laughs> yeah, it, that's, a, that's a bad habit, which we'll get rid of. But another thing is use the balls of your feet. You're using the heels. 
So use the part right next to your toes. I know you didn't probably don't know what balls are. I got toes. what I know what it is now because I always get it wrong whenever you tell me that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's balls where my the, toes are. The balls of the feet are the one closest to your toesies. So use that right now so you have the pegs. You have the pegs right in the middle of your foot. So I want you to r start riding like this. Okay? Okay. The only time you ever have to put your foot forward is applying the brakes. So put it right here. You get most of your um, balance okay. with that. Okay. So the same thing. Do the same thing. Look, 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 look where you want to go. Look. What? Ah, I got stiff on that one. Well, you got stiff. And I also heard the engine's rev. <sighs> So, okay. wait, what happens when you give the bike speed? What happens to the it bike? It wants to stand up. It wants to stand up. So you're in the middle of a turn, and you applied some throttle, so it stood you up when you started going wide. Yeah, that's true. So the reason why I want you to learn this before we do anything at higher speed, because that's the same concept in a massive curve where you're going 50 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. If you give it more speed, you're going to stand up if you don't have the proper body positioning. Okay. I'm gonna go. But this is just five miles an hour. There you go. Very good. Now use your head a little bit more, okay? Gotcha. Now let's do that one more time and then we'll move over to the left handed turns. <laughs> the left hand's gonna be a little more difficult. It's, it's all the same concept. Just now you're counterweighting with the other leg. Of looking course. the other way. And now your throttle hand is, is away from you. That's it. Can I just go? Do I have to stop? It's yes. Okay. Because we're we're pretending, we're practicing for it. You just stopped at a stoplight or a stop sign, and now it's your turn to go. Okay, now it's your turn to go. So let's do it without going and hitting a car over there. Woo! So look, there you go, there you go. All right, let's do left hand. So the only situation you'll have to do with this one is when you're doing a U-turn. Um, so like that we're gonna pretend that this is a uh, left turn lane and You're trying to make your u-turn as quick as as possible So what you're doing is you're stopped here at the light and You're looking everywhere boom no traffic you're gonna make a left-handed turn because you want to make a u-turn So when you do it a, a normal u-turn is just two left-handed turns in this situation But what we're doing is we're just practicing the first half is counterweighting, counterweighting, looking where you want to go and turning the handlebars. And you're only going to have to complete it for a 90 degree turn. If you really wanted to do a U-turn, just do another 90 degrees. But we're practicing, so we're not doing the full thing. I already know you can do a U-turn. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Did you lose a, a hair thing? Um, yeah, I guess I did. It's mine, thank you. Just, just so everyone knows that all these uh, tutorials and there you go, Ooh. there you go. All these uh, videos and diagrams of how to do this, you can get it from the channel, but you can also get it from ddfmcrew.com. It just became public because all of my badass patrons made it possible. So DDFM Crew, it's the DDFM Crew manual. This is absolutely free. So this is what we're practicing right now. Turn from a stop. There you go. That was so I that turned one, a little late. It was a little late. Mm -hmm. And in order to keep your body upright or to keep mm -hmm. your bike upright instead of falling over, you had to give it some speed. So instead, go a little bit slower, but then add more counterweight, add more body positioning. Because remember, your body is just as important, if not more important, than your bike's position. <sighs> I know it's hard work. You get tired. No, just. Ha telling myself to stop right at that cone is hard work. <laughs> oh, that's the I don't have problem. that difficulty when I go to the stop signs. That's the biggest problem you're having is For the cone? For me, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It's stupid, I know. I like get nervous. I'm like, I don't want to run it over. There you go. Ooh. Wait on. There you That was really Ooh. tight. That was a toy twin. Toy like a toyga. Toy like a toyga, baby. Why did you have to make it like that? <laughs> I said tight like a tight tiger. Like a baby? My upper lip and lower right, lip is calm. sweating right now. What? Unknown name. Oh, I thought it's you were telling me to go over there. All right, let me get a picture of you. Real quick. Hold on. I gotta stop moving. So I I'm want you to wait. This is really gonna bad. be your. Huh? 
I said I'm sweating really bad. Okay, well we should be done. This is your, this is your thumbnail, so I want you to make it look good. No. You, got, you have to hold it. <laughs> okay, hold it, hold it. All right, I got it, I got it. So right now, this, like I said, this is all on the DDFM Crew page, ddfmcrew.com. Thank you to my patrons. But we're just practicing. This is what you want to do before you get on a row. Because if you try doing this, remember, this is an, a U-turn intersection. This is a stop sign or a stoplight. If you're going to practice with other hazards like road hazards and quite possibly debris on the road, it's going to make it even harder for you. Your anxiety level is going to go up. You're going to perform worse. And then you're going to develop bad habits because certain things will work when you're in a bad situation. But we want to build upon the calmness and the good situations, and then from there add in more hazards. It's a lot like working out. I'm gonna turn out. right. Okay, it's a lot like working out. You don't just start off with your max and you do max every day. That's that's what you're doing on the road. You need to come here and practice, get better and better and better, and before you know it, when you're out on the road, it's easy peasy, pumpkin easy. A little bit too fast. Whoa, dang it! That's fine, that's fine. But that's the thing, guys. If you're brand new to this and you do this, she was doing this should, great. This should be easy for me. It's it's going to get there. you got to practice, 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 repetition. So if we're doing this do and she feels comfortable and she goes out on the road and there's a car right here ready to go straight, she just ran into that car. I understand lanes aren't that short or No, small, they ran into me. But it could happen. It really could happen. Let me get out of the way. So this is why we're practicing, guys. Hit that subscribe button for more Nikki's adventures. I didn't turn my head enough. You still made it, but yeah, definitely turn your head. I like how you figured out your own issue. That was good. All right, guys, I'll be seeing you later. Everyone, say say bye, Nikki. Say bye, baby. Adios. All right, let's keep practicing. Okay, I'm gonna do the right turn again. All right, I'm gonna get that here. one down. I need, I need you to come over so oh. I can turn everything off. I am. Wait.